genuinely isn't it when you when you do that when you apply the L factor you are literally sounding feeling uh, looking very very genuine and not looking at your potential customer as a cash cow yeah absolutely. you're not looking at a kitchen sign there, there yeah. we go. Absolutely. Because we're more concerned about whether they're gonna benefit from the whole entire process of doing that thing uh, we see a lot of salespeople on daily basis we train a lot of corporate salespeople yeah. a lot of times it's just a number 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 it's important yeah. no denying yeah. results are important we are very right. results driven people yeah. but what we're saying is that you got to use the right approaches and strategies to to get to your numbers yeah. because right. if you just yeah. tell people about numbers it's yeah. not going to get there well yeah. loving Actually. them meaning building relationships right? exactly good rapport business. relationship yeah, rapport. Yeah. that is sustainable that's right yeah. loving them taking them out for dinners is good too yeah, yeah. right yeah. but not up to the point where it leads to something else yeah. dot 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 like the, all the, the big dot. the big b <laughs> bribery <Right. laughs> <laughs> 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 got a caller online let's see if someone loves to share a story hi good morning uh good morning annie and Zami. yes Hello. Good morning yeah uh, and uh, our panel. Yep. Hello. Ah, Mr. Lingam, yes. Yeah. So, uh, as, as, as uh, what uh, Ken and uh, Ernie have been saying mm -hmm. about giving, you know, you have to give first and then to oh. get something out of from people. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe that is uh, sales gimmicks or whatever it is that, you know, to be a successful uh, salesman or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, being genuine is one thing. Yep. But there are people nowadays, you know, there's lots of cases where you have con men mm, that's who true. give, at the beginning they give you, mm -hmm. and then they trap you. Mm. And then after a while, they put you in a very difficult position that they have con so many people. Mm. And yeah. lately I saw, I read in the papers, those people who are greedy and being con, and when they make a police report, you should charge them for being greedy. <laughs> So I think uh, there are people nowadays. Uh, uh, you, as you as you were saying that when you give genuinely, you should get something back. Mm -hmm. If you're genuine, it's okay. But lots of people nowadays, they are not not. They don't even rationalize. They don't think. They just think that oh, I put in one thousand in a few few weeks or one month or two months, I get back five six thousand. In, if you find, ask a person with a, with a proper mind, will somebody will give you easy money like that? Mm. Might as well he keeps the money and he enjoys himself. Yeah. This is what I say nowadays. The present public is more, the greed is there, but after that when they lose, they cry over over nothing. That's mm. right. I don't know what this is okay. like nowadays. Right. Thank you. Thank you Thanks. so much. Thank you. Very well put, I must say. Well, I mean, a lot of people still want to gain from it at the end of the day, yeah. but the reality is fact matter is very simple if you are a good salesperson you got to make sure it's sustainable mm -hmm. the word is sustainable I mean it's important for you to be able to close the deal once if it's not sustainable where the person don't come back to buy more from you every single mm -hmm. time uh, it's not gonna happen you're not a good salesperson That's true. yeah now, sure. let, let's switch the coin around and uh, just listen to what uh, you know mr. Lingam was saying sure. about con men out there uh, there are a lot of salesmen out there who are yep. genuine in their work and daily mm. services. There are also men out there who are salesmen, but who may actually be a little bit of a con in terms yeah. of promising them whom a they whole know. Of they really know the audience. Yeah. They know how to work it. But the loving factor, uh, a bit kurang lah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before, before you answer this, hold on a minute because we've got another caller online. So yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. One more let's person. Yeah. Uh, hi. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hello. Benji, Jamal. When I go to hot house to do my sales, mm -hmm. now I, there are people who refuse to buy. Mm. But in the end, they tend to buy my item. So, can you explain on this phenomena? Very strange. Thank okay. you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Jude. I think it's important for us to note this, uh, which is a lot of times people don't buy your products. They really are buying you. Mm -hmm. And you wonder why people don't need it at first and at the end they still buy you. It's yeah. because of two things. Your time and your effort mm -hmm. on showing how much you love and how much you've been giving to your mm -hmm. customer. Okay. So a lot of times someone may not need the thing even though you think that's what they need, mm -hmm. but they're really buying you. 
ultimately. So if you've been giving your time and effort uh, lovingly to your customers, they will buy from you. They just love right. to buy uh, from you. Coming back to Ken. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Now we're talking about conmen. Yeah, there's a big misconception uh, mm -hmm. uh, about salespeople yep. and uh, them being conmen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, a lot of including people who sell you pencils. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very <laughs> smooth talkers, yeah. as right, you would put it. Right. And uh, they were able to sell anything and everything. Okay. Essentially, they will just barrage you to death. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. With a lot of comments and yeah. a lot of a lot of a lot of false statements. Put yeah. you in a corner. Everything lah. Absolutely. Yeah. And it comes back to sustainability. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and if you go if you go out there and you con people yeah uh, they won't come back that's yeah. for sure yeah and the caring factor is not there mm. right? if your caring factor is not there there's no love mm -hmm. uh, in the whole scheme of things mm. yeah what's the point of doing it yeah right, but if for, for the public for instance how do they then keep themselves uh, wary of these people now how can they judge when you see a actual genuine person trying to you know, uh, sell you something, and mm -hmm. a person who is actually just you know wants to sell. Yeah, just I wants to sell, sell but something. really does not even try. Uh, yeah. He doesn't even have the passion for his own product. I think everyone needs to be cheated at least one time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, oh, if you're not gonna be con, you're not gonna learn to be a better buyer. Sure. If you're not gonna be buying it and then enjoying it and learning whether it's really useful to you. It's fine. So if you buy it for the second time, you're cost stupid. But the first time, it's okay. <laughs> so it's okay to be being cheated is fine for yeah. at least one time because if you receive that pain you will learn how to gain from it next time around yeah. so i always have, I, I advise uh, parents also if you see a child going nearing to a fire or a little bit of a, a, a sharp thing object maybe let them get themselves cut a little bit i mean just watch over them mm -hmm. but if they don't feel that pain they're not going to avoid it themselves naturally mm -hmm. so people always ask when you develop that killer instinct you got to let people feel the pain if they don't feel the pain no matter what you tell them they're not going to stay away from it yeah. yeah, I mean, if you look at all the the history of all the successful people, they've been down. They've yeah. already experienced being down first. That is how they go back up. You got to fall. Yeah. yeah. No pain, no gain. All right, there you go. Ernie and Ken, thank you so much for being in the studios with us today and giving us a lot of insight. Thank how you so do you much. close a person? Three ultimate ways in closing a person anywhere, anytime, yep. anytime, anytime. If knowledge. they want to learn more, just go to uh, Ken's website, www.salesdragons.com. Mm -hmm. All the information, all the videos and all the tips are there. Okay. Yep. Or you can uh, Google uh, Sales Dragons Academy mm -hmm. and maybe you can find it on YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> most okay. definitely. 40 times. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we are going to take another short break before we come back to show you, uh, basically explain to you the latest uh, expo that's coming up soon, which is the SME Solutions Expo coming up soon. Don't go, go away. away.